higher it climbs, the richer he becomes. He owns about 54 million shares. So when Amazon stock hit an all-time high of $3,552.25 in August, Bezos' net worth totaled about $204.6 billion. Bezos became the first person in history to be worth more than $200 billion. Even Bill Gates was never that rich. The most Gates was ever worth was $158 billion. At the peak of his net worth, Bezos was worth nearly twice as much as both Bill Gates and Elon Musk. At the time of this video, Bezos is worth about $175.3 billion, while Gates is worth $114 billion, and Elon Musk is worth $93.7 billion. By the time you watch this video, Bezos could be worth much, much more. Amazon has thrived in 2020. We are all shopping from home much more today, and that trend will likely continue for many decades. We've all ordered something from Amazon in the middle of the night or after we've had one too many. Bezos loves when we do this because it means he keeps getting richer. It's hard to believe that Amazon used to only sell books. Today you can buy just about anything on Amazon, from Nicolas Cage pillowcases to Baby Yoda Chia Pets. Most of us just use Amazon to stock up on toilet paper and Pepsi, but you really can find just about anything on Amazon. Bezos started Amazon way back in July of 1994 in his garage in Bellevue, Washington. The $250,000 he got from his parents went a long way. But he warned his mom and pop that there was a good chance Amazon would go bankrupt. Amazon survived the dot-com bubble, and today the company is an unstoppable juggernaut. In 2017, Amazon purchased Whole Foods for $13.4 billion. But today, Amazon is more than just a website that you can use to buy groceries and household goods. Amazon Prime Video is the second most popular streaming service in the world behind Netflix and ahead of Disney+. Plus. The cloud services segment of Amazon alone is worth $17.5 billion, and the company makes numerous electronic devices like the Fire Tablet, Kindle, and the Echo. Would you be able to survive without Alexa at your beck and call? Alexa, finish recording this video. Amazon is even releasing a wearable fitness band next year called the Halo. Now Amazon can ship snacks right to your doorstep and tell you how fat you are. 2020 has been a very bad year for most of the world, but it's been great for Jeff Bezos. Bezos was worth $115 billion on January 1st, 2020, and by August 27th, he was $89 billion richer. He made more money in eight months than Warren Buffett made in his entire lifetime. Buffett is worth about $82 billion. Granted, Buffett has given away about $37 billion of his money to date, but Bezos' skyrocketing net worth is still impressive. Could Bezos one day be the world's first trillionaire? With the size of Bezos' bank account, you might assume that Amazon is the biggest retailer in the world, but it's actually not, at least according to 2019 revenue. Amazon's revenue in 2019 was $280.52 billion, but Walmart made $514.4 billion. Thanks to Amazon's record year, it might pass Walmart in revenue very soon. Amazon's second quarter 2020 revenue was an impressive $88.9 billion, which is more than the company made in Q4 of 2019. This year was the first time in history that Amazon's Q2 revenue topped the Q4 revenue from the previous year. Q4 is, of course, the holiday season, and analysts expect Amazon's Q4 revenue this year to be off the charts. It's very likely we'll all be buying those Christmas and Hanukkah gifts online this year, and that's why Amazon could end up making over $100 billion in Q4 2020. Amazon has been expanding like crazy in 2020, but things are only going to get crazier in the future. Forget same-day delivery. Amazon is aiming for 30 minutes or less delivery, and that looks to be happening sooner rather than later. In August, Amazon received permission from the FAA to be classified as an air carrier. That means that drones are going to be a huge part of Amazon's delivery network in the near future. You won't have to wait days for your package much longer. Drones will be able to travel from a fulfillment center to your door in 30 minutes or less. Amazon Prime Air is the future, and drones are going to make Bezos even richer. Amazon Prime Air might be a few years away, but delivery times are decreasing this year thanks to Amazon buying warehouse spaces from more fulfillment centers. Amazon has increased its physical footprint by 50% in 2020, and that's just the beginning. They're buying up abandoned space in malls across America so it can defeat Walmart. In February, Amazon released its first cashierless Amazon Go grocery store, and there are now 21 Amazon Go stores in total. 
Now you can even buy luxury goods on Amazon. Oscar de la Renta is the first Amazon luxury store partner. And more high-end brands are looking to partner with Amazon in the future. There's no way you would ever be able to buy a designer dress from Walmart. A billion dollars is a lot of money. But $200 billion is a completely different level. It might be a hard concept to grasp. So, personal finance expert Humphrey Yang created a TikTok video to put it into perspective. He used one grain of rice to represent $100,000. Okay. And needless to say, Yang needed numerous bags of rice to accurately portray Bezos' net worth. A tablespoon of rice would be the equivalent of Bezos buying a massive mansion. And taking away that small portion wouldn't even make a dent in his net worth. You might be surprised to learn that Jeff Bezos' annual salary is only $81,840. Top CEOs usually have salaries in the millions, but Bezos obviously sees that as a waste of money. Bezos is all about growth. Why should he pay himself a huge salary when that money could be used to expand the business? A million dollar salary wouldn't make a difference at all in Bezos' life because he owns so much Amazon stock. Bezos makes $2,219 every second, which is more than twice what the average U.S. worker makes in one week. There are countries worth less than Jeff Bezos. When his net worth reached its peak, Bezos was worth nearly as much as the entire GDP of New Zealand. Yes, New Zealand. We're not talking about a tiny third world country. Jeff Bezos was worth as much as a first world country. No doubt Bezos could buy a lot of second breakfasts with his vast wealth. Bezos' net worth is more than the GDP of countries like Hungary, Kazakhstan, Ukraine, Slovakia, and Morocco. His net worth is greater than the GDP of Sri Lanka, Iceland, and Luxembourg combined. You might be wondering how Bezos pays for his luxurious lifestyle if his net worth is based almost entirely on the stock market. Well, he does sell Amazon shares from time to time to fund his personal lifestyle. Bezos owns a $65 million G650ER Gulfstream jet, and earlier this year, he bought a $165 million 13,000 square foot mega mansion in Beverly Hills. His Beverly Hills home is the most expensive mansion in California, and he also owns mansions in Seattle and Washington, D.C. On top of that, Bezos has a Texas ranch, which he uses as a base of operations for his space exploration company, Blue Origin. You probably didn't know that Jeff Bezos had a space exploration company. Bezos plus rockets equals bad news for Elon Musk. He might be looking to crush not only Walmart, but SpaceX, too. Jeff Bezos may not be the most frugal of billionaires, but he can probably afford to spend a lot more. Bezos does make big purchases from time to time, unlike fellow billionaires Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, who prefer to eat at McDonald's and give away most of their money. In fact, Bezos has so much money that spending $1.9 billion is the equivalent of you spending $1. Extravagant purchases have no real effect on his bottom line. His costly divorce also barely put a dent in his net worth. Bezos settled with his ex-wife last year, and the divorce cost him 25% of his Amazon stock, which was worth about $30 million at the time. He has made all of that back and then some since the divorce was finalized. His ex-wife, Mackenzie Scott, is now worth about $68 billion, which makes her the richest woman in the world. Bezos has been heavily criticized for his wealth and charitable giving. He does donate a considerable amount to charities like the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center and Seattle-based emergency shelter Mary's Place. He has also donated to the Dream U.S. Scholarship Program. His commitment to fighting climate change has also been fairly substantial. Bezos has pledged $10 billion to fight climate change. And Amazon purchased the naming rights to the new Seattle arena where the Kraken will play in the 2021-22 NHL season. Instead of naming the arena after Amazon, it is simply called the Climate Pledge Area. Despite Bezos' charity, he is still far behind Bill Gates and Warren Buffett when it comes to making the world a better place. Buffett and Gates have both signed the Giving Pledge. They co-founded the program along with Melinda Gates and plan to give away nearly all of their money before they die. Bezos has not signed the Giving Pledge and has even criticized the campaign. Don't worry, Bezos' money is still being given away as his ex-wife has signed a giving pledge. That's it, folks. Are you shocked that Jeff Bezos has increased his net worth by so much this year? Do you think Jeff Bezos will reach trillionaire status? How often do you shop on Amazon? Do you think Amazon will overtake Walmart? I'm going to live with a multi-millionaire who used to be homeless. I used to live in my car for two and a half years. And used